Hello and welcome to the how to light your fire patty video. First things first, fire patties. What are fire patties? Fire patties are, and this is the, before we're uh, working on our new label, but uh, fire patties first of all are proudly made in the USA by hand one at a time. They're non-toxic which means if you get them on your hands or get in your mouth or your kids get them and touch them or your dog grabs them and eats one you don't have to worry about it. It's not going to hurt them. So that's just great. To me that had to be a must to, to get that going. And then uh, they weigh 0.2 to 0.7 um, ounces, so they weigh under an ounce each, which makes them extremely light. Um, as I would say, ounces lead to pounds, and pounds lead to pain. We can avoid that. We're all happy campers. And since they have no shelf life, and they never expire, they'll never dry out. They're water resistant, waterproof, so they actually float. And uh, what you're looking at here in front of you is obviously you can probably see the different colors. Now, generally, the fire patties are going to be pink. Uh, we picked that for a contrasting color. That way, if you drop them, they're always there. For a, however, for a limited time, we are producing the brown orange purple blue and most important zombie green hey you might want to get these just to uh, just to shoot it I don't know but either way for demonstration purposes we're going to use paint because well made a lot of those and and for definitely that's definitely going to be the color so and uh here we go see there's one already here that's already fluffed up and uh first of all they're easy to tear i mean straight up they're easy to tear. I don't know if you can see these fibers. If I can try to get this like this. All those little fibers. Every fiber is infused. You can use a lighter. You can use matches. Torch. Whatever you want. But I'll tell you one thing. You can either take your knife and make sure the camera and fluff it up with your knife. Now, you don't have to use the whole, you can use part of it. Uh, if you have a dry area, well, and dry tinder then you probably don't need to use a whole lot the knife I'll be using for this demonstration is the Pathfinder edition roach belly trade knife uh, by Habilis um, bush tools and a 5 16 rod what we're gonna do is and what I'm using as a platform is actually the crow from from Enviro Sponsible. Uh, he produces those. So what I'm gonna do is gotta get a spark going first, right? That's the fun part. Now. Let 
going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use the back of this crow to see if I can't throw some sparks on here that by the way I've sharpened see if it throws good sparks all right Now, even though these look like they're lighting up, like they're infused with some kind of, you know, accelerant, there is no accelerant. So, to have a surefire and have no smell, which means you can put them in your bug out bag, you, can, you don't have to worry about um, a lot of, any kind of a smell coming off. I'm going back to the uh, trade knife for this because this is just way too big and throwing sparks everywhere but where they need to be. And as you can see, the longer that goes, the bigger they get. Now, I'm actually doing this demonstration inside today. Actually, let's do it this way here. And as a demonstration, what I'm going to do is just the simple water. And do not put that out. Simple water. The same thing over here. I know it's hard to believe, folks, but uh-oh. Hard to believe, isn't it? Just simple water. Go ahead and set these off to the side here. You know what? Let's do a zombie. Let's have fun with zombies. So I'm going to use the Pathfinder trade knife, and we're going to pretend like we're just in an emergency. And we just need to get a fire going. That's there's just nothing, nothing else about it. We we just we need to get something going quick because we're we're cold. We're hungry. We gotta boil some water. We gotta have some. Man, we we just gotta get this going. So, as you can see, the only difference between them is colors. Uh, 
the more you fluff up, we didn't do a purple one yet, have we? You know, you can even use your ferro rod to Bear with me. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you something else here pretty fun. And I probably should have went ahead and do this, but like I said, I'm, I'm giving demonstrations. I'm doing it my way. I'm not going to edit this video. Ooh. Just one, let alone two or three of them. Now, warning, do not put this on wood, and I do not recommend burning these in the house. Um, they do get hot, and fire is very, very dangerous, and then I don't recommend doing what I'm about to do, because it could result in fires. Actually starting to burn my curl I got underneath here. They're also designed to be wind resistant, folks. And I can just take one. Or, if you want to have fun with friends, it's raining and pouring, and you know, the ones that actually burns and evaporates that water off, it, it just keeps going and going and going, and it gets so hot that it's basically evaporating that water as it's getting there so they are hot they are fire patties they are non-toxic they do burn uh oh like crazy and just to kind of give a idea here after it's been burning a while, and grab a tape measure here. Oh, we still got it. Heck, nine, ten inch. Oops, it got so hot. I was burning my hand from the heat coming off of it. Nine, ten inch flame coming off that bad boy. And that was after we exposed it to uh, yeah. Well everybody, I hope you enjoyed fire patties. 
So, the big thing is rip them in half, rough them up a little bit to expose some fiber, and you've got a flame. Mm, it burnt myself. So, hope you enjoyed. Hope you had some fun. So when you need sure fire, and you don't want the toxins, and you don't want to worry about washing your hands, and your bug out bags, your EDC bags to smell, and you want something light enough to put everywhere, including your tackle box. Not have to worry about your gear getting destroyed or not catching any fish. Put them in your glove box. And, uh, well, that's it, folks. That's going to be the how to fire patty video. They're easy as can be, they're easy to tear, easy to light, they're wind resistant, they burn a long time, they're non-toxic, they float, you can use them for campfires, emergency situations, or heck, they're perfect for uh, just lighting your uh, grills. You can put them in your wood stoves. So whether you uh, need to light a campfire under perfect conditions or that's just a half of one or you need to light a emergency fire under stressful emergency conditions and damp wood and damp tender there you go, folks. And check out K9TC.com. I'll put the link down for you. I apologize for this being a long video. But, uh, hope you enjoyed. I mean, heck, who doesn't enjoy a video about fire, right? Well, folks, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. on where you can get them at and uh, as always sniff you later be back with more videos and uh, we'll have a lot more fun do a lot more uh, reviews on these things and uh, don't forget to get them for your bug out bags today Bye, everybody.